Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this radio I just picked up. This is the Yesu FT450D, the Fox Tango 450 Delta. This is a relatively recent radio from Yesu, probably, I don't know, three or four years old I guess at most. This is a high frequency um, slash six meters, which is you know kind of in the VHF range but anyway it's a 100 watt radio and it's pretty nice if you look here you can see it's got a lot of nice uh, DSP functions contour notch uh, noise reduction with there's an IF shift there really really nice simple radio to operate you can basically see like your signal path through the radio here nice big dial and I it's it's super easy to operate with ham radio deluxe which I like because that means I don't have to reach over here when I'm using the computer for logging I can do it all from the computer uh, it's got a nice sound basically just a good all-around radio but what's really nice about it is you can pick these up on the used market like I did super cheap right around five hundred dollars which is just a super easy price to get into for an HF radio considering most new HF radios are in the thousand dollar plus range and I think one of the biggest reasons this radio is so cheap is because it's being eclipsed by other radios like the FT991A from Yesu and the IC7300 uh, which you know if you watch my video on that that's just a killer radio from ICOM and this radio lacks one thing that those radios have and that's an internal sound card for doing digital modes but you can still do digital modes with this I mean if you listen here you can hear the sweet sounds of FT8 which is personally my favorite digital mode but it seems like it's gonna cost you a lot of money and the reason for that is like I said it doesn't have a built-in sound card let's take a look at the back of the radio not the back of my radio because I'm not unplugging all this but a picture okay here's a picture of the back of the FT 450 and 450d you can see how super simple it is we've got your 13.8 volt DC input here SO239 antenna ground external speaker a simple serial port for cat control which is wonderful this is for your amplifier this is for an external tuner and this jack here is the one that we're, we're going to be interested in this is the data jack and it is a six pin mini DIN connector so if you buy your radio and you know you're looking on say DX engineering or gigaparts or HRO websites and you're looking for a way to connect it well they're going to tell you one of two ways to connect it the first thing they're going to show you is Yesu's own offering this is the SCU 17 USB interface and yeah I mean this is a great way to do it this will definitely get the job done if we zoom in here you can see this is the back of it there's you know, you're gonna plug your data in your cat and you're gonna go uh, USB out to your computer so that's an easy way to do it and it'll definitely do it but look at this that's another 200 bucks now you're up to $700 now you gotta think to yourself well maybe it's really not worth it what are some other options well this is the other option this one is super popular this is the Signalink USB interface from uh, Tigertronics and these things these things are just like I said incredibly popular it's basically the same thing it's a little bit cheaper it's a hundred and twenty five ninety five so again you know, you're you're getting up there in the money and you got to be thinking to yourself well maybe I should just go with one of those more expensive radios but I'm here to tell you there's an easier way and a lower cost way to do it okay so here you are looking at my uh, 450d and my setup here and you don't see a signal link or an SCU 17 interface anywhere around here because I'm not using one what I'm using is super simple and cheap let's uh I'm gonna bend you down here see that see those two 
cables going into my laptop well they meet up at one cable with the mini DN6 on the other side so right here this is what I'm using this is the FT8 JT65 PSK audio cable interface DC-11F those are that's what you want to look but I'll put a link to this down below for the Yaesu FT991 891 857 897 and a 450 and if you look here you can see there's your mini 6 pin jack and here you have data in and data out and friends it's it's uh less than twenty dollars that's all you need to do your ft8 you don't need to spend another two hundred dollars so here we are we're running ft8 i'm gonna turn the sound up over here so you can hear a little bit these are the signals being decoded over here in this area i don't know how well you can see my mouse over here in this area the signals being decoded over here are signals being decoded on the frequency I'm listening to and you can find those right down here where you see the little green and red the red is the frequency I'm transmitting on and the green is the frequency that I'm listening to so let's pick let's pick somebody who's calling CQ over here and we'll respond to them Okay, there's a guy, Whiskey Delta 4 Mike Tango Kilo, and as you can see here, he is uh, 458 miles away from me, and we're transmitting uh, an answer to his CQ right now. Where's his signal? Where's my green? Right here. Okay, so that's his signal right there. Let's see if he comes back to us. When this bar fills up, we'll get the decode. There we go. He hears me at uh, plus two. I hear him at minus eight. So you can see this is working just fantastically. While that's going on, I'm going to show you the radio here. And then again, there's the uh, cable interface. Just so you don't think there's anything fishy going on here. I'm showing you everything. Zoom in here and try and focus again. Okay, either he's not hearing me or something. But we'll, uh, we'll wait a second and see if he comes back. Doesn't seem to be hearing me yet. I don't know what's going on. We'll wait again. So there he is. He finally came back to me. I don't know if he was uh, away from the keyboard or something there. But you can see there's his RR73, and there's my 73 transmitted to him. We've had a successful QSO. So that's for FT8. Um, this works for any digital mode. Let's do a little try. Well, let's try a little PSK31. You know, it's hard to tell if there'll be anybody on. There you go. You can see the uh, PSK31 being decoded down there. So this cable is good for FT8, PSK31s, basically good for any and all of the uh, digital modes. It's a good radio for SSB2. If I turn on the uh, digital signal processing, here's the noise reduction. It makes a difference. It's not as good as the 7300 from ICOM. It's not even as good as the uh, noise reduction on the Yaesu FT891. But it's good and it works. Like I said, this is a nice, easy way to get into HF. Probably one of the uh, most feature-packed, low-cost ways you can do it. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, subscribe, share, whatever you like. <laughs> anyway, big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.